Hi, I'm Curtis the Boss Doss and welcome to the Business and Technology Forum here in Anaheim. Well, it's no secret video is the hot topic in today's real estate marketing. So far, we've heard from John Pinto, our chair. We've heard from a couple of our vendors and we just heard from Heather Osher on why video is essential. In this next segment, I'm gonna show you how you can make an inexpensive video using your smartphone. A smartphone like the iPhone or the Samsung Nexus. Let's get started. Before we get started, you're going to need to have a YouTube account. Go to www.youtube.com and follow the on-screen instructions. Next, you'll need to install the YouTube application on your phone. Simply go to your App Store or on the Samsung Nexus to Google Play Store and download the YouTube app. Now it's time to shoot your video. Word on the street is, is that Google Analytics are now being used on video. What that means is that the keywords that you're saying in your video are actually being filtered and used for search engine optimization. So you'll notice that in this video, I'm going to use the same keywords a lot of times so that the SEO engines pick up my video. So I'll be mentioning things like the name of the county. I'm going to be talking about the city, the city of Temecula. I'll be mentioning four bedrooms, or I'll mention things like cul-de-sac or this home has a pool. In the video, you want to make sure that you're walking very slowly throughout the home. You want to make sure that you're getting very good shots of all of the areas in the home. You want to make sure that you're using very good lighting and that you're panning through slowly through the home. The great thing about video is that it gives the viewer an in-depth perception of the actual home. Also in the video, you want to make sure that you highlight key features. Mention things like this home has a cul-de-sac or it has a downstairs bedroom. You want to make sure once again that you're moving slowly through the home and that you're avoiding jerky movement. Now as we approach the stairs, we want to make sure that we use a two second rule as we take a step up the stairs. Move very slowly up the stairs and then we're going to continue on up. And when we get to a landing on the stairs, we're going to do a slow turn and continue up the stairs. Once you're at the top of the stairs, you want to pan the room so that the client has a bird's eye view of where they just came from. Now we're going to continue up the stairs. We're going to slowly move up the stairs. Watch your step. And then now we're into the loft. And when you come into a room that's open and airy, I suggest that you pan the room very slowly from left to right, giving the client an idea of the depth of the room. You might even want to do another pan and actually show the staircase that we just came up from. Don't forget to shoot the rest of the house. And remember these key points. Make sure you open up blinds for better lighting Make sure that beds are made, clothes are put away, pets are outside, and in bathrooms, make sure that shower curtains are closed and that toilet seats are down. Remember guys, that the video that you're shooting are the eyes of what the potential buyer is gonna see. Well, that about wraps it up. So on behalf of John Pinto, our chair, Heather Ozier, our vice chair, and myself, Curtis the Boss Doss, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at our next business and technology forum.